Welcome in, everyone. Ooh, that number is shooting up. Hey. I'm going to give people one or two minutes to file in and then I'll get started. Because I know there's also a movie thing going on right now. How's everyone enjoying the convention so far? Having fun? Oh, don't worry, Paige. I'm so nervous right now. But uh, I'm really happy to share this with all of you. So I'm excited. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> you guys are so nice. Uh, that's this is the right chat. You're in the right one. So this is the thing. This is the one. All right, one more minute, and I'm gonna get started. All right, is everyone ready? Everyone ready to listen to this awesome panel that I'm totally not nervous for? <laughs> ready to eat cheese. <laughs> For those of you asking which chat is the right one, you are in the right one. It's the one uh, in the panel chats channel. So you guys are you guys are good. Jeez, touch. Oh no. All right. Yes, this is panel. This panel is going to be recorded along with the chat, um, and the cheese memes. So. I'm going to introduce myself real quick. Uh, we are the Sidewalk Chalk System. We are a bodily adult system. Our pronouns are they, them, for our collective. Um, I'm the one running the panel. My name is Clockwork. I'm a multi-fictive, mainly a creepy pasta fictive. Um, my pronouns are she, they. And today, I'm going to talk to you all about Ontopunk and punk in general and making your own gear. The cheese. <laughs> okay. So, what the hell is punk anyway? Punk is a subculture originating in punk rock music. The subculture is known for its diversity of ideologies, fashion, and other forms of expression, visual art, dance, literature, and film, largely characterized by anti-establishment views, the promotion of individual freedom, and DIY ethics. That is a quote from Wikipedia about punk rock. So the punk ethos prim primarily comprises beliefs such as nonconformity, anti-authoritarianism, anti anti-corporatism, and a do-it-yourself ethic, anti-consumerist, anti-corporate greed, direct action, and not selling out. That's also a quote from Wikipedia. So at its core, punk is about standing up for yourself and others, expression, music, and culture. Also, there will be a Q&A at the end. So if any of you have questions for me, uh, it's going to be at the end of this panel. Cool. Cool. So a question all of you might be asking about the title of this panel, what is Ontopunk? So it was coined as an alternative to the less inclusive kin punk. Ontopunk is all about expressing yourself in a way true to your alter human nature. 
This extends to tales, other gears, vocalizations, and cringe behaviors, in quotation marks. However, this isn't all. It's all about rejecting human normality, accepting non uh, abnormal behavior, and rejecting cringe culture as a whole. Onto Punk is about letting yourself be loud and proud about who you are and being expressive and true to yourself. So what does this mean for alter humans? This means to be who you are, being unapologetically you and expressing yourself no matter what people think makes you punk as fuck. Uh, this doesn't mean you have to be rude to people if they don't understand or ask questions. Being confident doesn't mean putting other people down. And this also means to be creative. Make some gear, sew those patches, make zines, write essays, and paint paintings. Get yourself out there and create. We will accept, uh, discuss this topic in depth in a few minutes. Oh yeah, everyone is cringe and everyone is free. A science book by other kind, yeah. Sorry guys, I changed all of you. <laughs> so, how many of you um, love gear or um, like to use gear and other means to express yourself? And by gear, I mean like anything. Like anything you see as gear, go ahead, talk about it. Let me see. All right. So as you can see, everyone is really, really interested. <laughs> um, I love gear. Gear is awesome to me. Um, it's one of my favorite ways of self-expression. Um, I actually have like a gear shelf on the back of my door, like one of those overhang uh, door things where you can um, like hang coats and jackets on. Well, I have tails and jackets and collars all over it and that's my gear spot so let's talk about making your own gear and that's what this panel is all about so one of my favorite uh, ways to express myself is my battle jacket uh, if you've been any from if you're familiar with punk at all, um, battle jackets are jackets that you decorate with patches, with bands, ideologies, anything you find personal enough to you to put on there. So my battle jacket has been a work in progress for several months, and I uh, I'm going to share that with you all because my jacket is primarily themed about alter human identity. So I'm going to send those pictures for you guys. And some of the uh, some of the patches are pinned on right now because I am actively working on it. So let me open. And absolutely that counts. You can do whatever you want. Gear is what you make it to be. That is all for all of you. You can use anything for gear. There we go, proxy. Also, if any of you were curious where I got any of my patches, you can DM me, and I can probably tell you where I got them, too. Okay, let's get into... Oop, I just switched chats. Oh, yep, yeah, hang on. I'm going to post them in the other chat, too. I just got pinged. Okay. There's that. There's that. Okay. I'm going to post that there. There we go. Okay, that proxied. All right. So, yeah, if you do like any of the patches that we have, uh, I'm happy to provide you shop links or tell you if we made them ourselves. Um, 
So let's get started on how you can make your own gear. Let's see. Sorry, I just switched chats by accident. Um, okay, so being creative. Textile arts like sewing, crocheting, and knitting are always good for making clothing items. Um, so crochet, we are teaching ourselves crochet right now. Um, it's, um, I will also have a link. I have a big pile of links to post to all you guys. So if you're curious about where to learn crochet, how to learn embroidery, how to make yarn tails, all that stuff, I have links at the end that I will show you guys. Okay. So first crochet, honestly, you can start crocheting with just one hook and some coordinating yarn. There are so many YouTube videos out there teaching crochet and hooks are often less than $5 US dollars at, well, at least five US dollars. I don't know about currency everywhere else, but uh, at a chain craft store. And then sewing bigger project is, is like harder without a machine, but hand sewing is possible. Um, Hand sewing, I'm, I'm a little bit familiar with for my jacket, um, but uh, I do have a sewing machine that's really fun to use and make things with. Okay. And then an alternative to sewing, if, you, if you're going to hand sew and you want to make something larger, bigger product, uh, an alternative to sewing is cross stitch or embroidery, just like crochet. Embroidery needles and thread are cheap. Even hoops start at five ninety nine US dollars at craft stores, and there are so many video tutorials out there. Um, uh, uh, crochet, fabric arts, textile arts, sewing, all this kind of things. All these things like. There, I just love being creative so much and being able to like actually produce something from just either crocheting with a with a crochet hook and yarn, or um, even stuff like embroidery. There's so many embroidery uh, tutorials online that you can uh, visit. And like I said, I will have links and information after this. Um, so embroidery, uh, cross stitch. Um, crochet, knitting, all this kind of stuff, all the textile arts, sewing, everything. It's so much fun. I love it. It's, it's awesome. Uh, just having fun with what you want to do and finding all these new things and remembering that skills take time to learn. You're not going to be perfect at it immediately, but it's super fun. I love everyone sharing all their stuff right now. It's so cool. It's so cool to look at. Oh yeah, uh, for battle jackets and stuff, uh, we um, we thrifted ours. That was completely thrifted. We bought it for like seven bucks, and it fits us really nice. And we got to decorate it, and we're still working on it. It's so much fun. So, what about writing for zines, paintings, comics, and essays? Expressing yourself through art and literature is a great way to be creative. Giving yourself a space to create, whether you keep it private in a journal or post it online, allows you to be yourself. Essays are a great way to connect with the greater community and share your own identity and experiences with others. Whether you sell it, share it, or keep it to yourself, art is art. It's all about having fun or getting out your feelings. Keeping a personal journal, whether it's digital or physical, can also be a way to express your feelings and even track your questioning process. I love everyone sharing all their stuff. This is awesome. Okay. So, 
I've talked to you guys about things you can do, all the things that make skills and learning and all that different stuff. What about specific gear that you can make? So yarn tails, we mentioned those earlier. They're highly customizable. Um, they're a little expensive and time consuming, but you can make them any way you want, any length, any any like colors, any any pattern, all those kinds of things you can use for yarn tails. Uh, there's tutorials and videos for them. You can use any colors you want. While it may consume a lot of your time, having a tail that you made that suits the colors, length, etc., that you want to make makes the final product that much better. I love all the ideas people are posting. This is so cool. <laughs> Yes, uh, libraries. Um, our library is awesome. They offer free access to Creative Bug, which is a usually paid subscription service. Um, ours also open, uh, offers experience kits where you can rent out like um, uh, like kits that you can uh, take home and use stuff in. So right now ours is checked out. Like we have a crochet one checked out. That's for learning crochet. They include like books and tools. Um, uh, don't forget books. Books are so great for learning skills. Um, if you are looking to start something and you have no idea where to start, and YouTube is kind of being helpful, but you like written things more, books, books, books. Our, our library is great for learning new things. Um, yes, public libraries are awesome. You can also use uh, usually computers there. And if you want to print color, usually it's like 25 cents to print color. So like if you need to print like a zine or if you need to print like stuff, I use the library to print my uh, print my buttons uh, sheets. Like I'll, I'll go to the library. It's 25 cents a sheet and I'll just print out my uh, I'll print out my buttons. So the next uh, the next topic is for masks. Uh, it's. I know it's more seen like with younger Therians, maybe on TikToks with quad aerobics, uh, but they're still fun. Like yarn tails, they're super customizable and you can paint or felt them. You can add faux fur, practically anything else. Like I've seen gems or whiskers, which is really freaking cool. Yes. Um, our public library also is great for um, patterns. They do uh, they do carry pattern booklets uh, where you can also get like sewing patterns and information, all this kind of stuff. Don't sleep on Etsy either for patterns. Uh, digital stuff um, from Etsy isn't that expensive in its direct delivery. So. Um, yeah, patterns on Etsy, you can either, sometimes you can get them already cut and shipped to you. Otherwise, independent creators that make their own patterns can, uh, can really, uh, it's, it's often cheaper than going, like, to Joann's or something and buying, um, and, like, buying, uh, patterns from there. And you're supporting small businesses, which is fucking pump with shit. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about ears, horns, and headbands. Cosplay tutorials are your friends here. Any sort of headband that has an accessory on it can probably be found online. We personally, we've seen a lot of hair and, uh, not hair, ear and horn tutorials. However, there are also a lot of other things you can do with EVA foam. It's worth taking a peek online to see if there's a tutorial you can follow for what you want to make. Look at all this stuff. Look at all you creative, you creative creatures out here. Look at all this stuff. That's cool. It's awesome. Cosplayers handshake out again. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. 
cosplayers have like cosplayers are like on another level with certain things like <laughs> like they're so creative i just love it sorry if i'm not presenting too much i just i love cultivating conversations so like i'm really enjoying this <laughs> so true yeah we're um we work at a craft store <laughs> so if that says anything about us uh we love this conversation oh thank you <laughs> I'm giving time for people to like hang out and chill too. All right. What about jewelry, guys? Collars, necklaces, earrings, other jewelry. So there's a lot of collar tutorials on YouTube, either using ribbon or like actual like pet collar, nylon webbing stuff. Uh, they usually do take a sewing machine though. Uh, however, jewelry. You can make jewelry with like beads, wire, clay, soda tabs. Um, I personally, I make a lot of candy. Um, so K and D I, not like not like for eating. I I, I wouldn't recommend eating plastic. Uh, sorry, <laughs> but uh, we love making fronting bracelets. Uh, I need to catch up on ours because I've fallen behind. But we have like a little. <laughs> We have like a little bag. <laughs> no, no plastic for you. No, no, no. No eating plastic. No, stop. <laughs> no plastic. <laughs> yeah. So, like, uh, for candy, especially, I would not use the uh, clear, like, elastic string <laughs> uh, because that eventually dry rots. Uh, and it will make your pieces fall apart after a couple of years. Uh, what we like to do is we like to use the cloth clubbered elastic because even if the cloth rubs like rubs away, uh, you'll still have at least <laughs> we're all the dog chewing on plastic and clubbers. <laughs> like, get that out of your mouth. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> you can lick the plastic. That's fine. Um, but I would, yes, definitely use a string that has cloth clovered elastic because that makes it uh, easier. And I honestly, it's easier to tie for me and it doesn't dry rot right away. So, yeah. I do have a, a resource when, like I said, when I'll link. Uh, I do have a place called Candy Patterns. If any of you have ever been at Candy Patterns, that place is a godsend. Uh, that, and I have some other necklace, uh, like candy and stuff like that YouTubers linked. Um, uh, so they have really good tutorials. No, not candy. You can't eat plastic. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just, just having fun, making fronting bracelets, making like, we um recently got into like jewelry making like with actual like wire and everything so uh we basically bought like a little starting set from work and uh we made earrings like little dangly earrings um just with some beads and the wire and everything uh it was super fun and we're still doing it um yeah, we have so many fronting bracelets. <laughs> um, yeah, we're kind of a large system, so for our main fronters, we have a lot of candy. <laughs> yeah. Guys, stop talking about eating bad. No, no plastic. No eat. And uh, polymer clay is really great uh, for... Uh, um, Polymer clay is great for uh, making jewelry, too. Uh, if you've ever seen 
uh, like those little marbly cool earrings. You're not allowed to eat plastic. Stop. Uh, have you ever seen those those uh, cool earrings that are like marbled and everything? You can make those. You can make charms. There's tons of tutorials, like I said, for that stuff. Uh, there's like um, often if you keep up with your craft store sales, if they're like a big chain, um, they will have uh, sales on beads often. Or independent jewelry stores that sell beads and cool things. You can even find them at like flea markets and stuff. They have some really, really cool stuff. Oh my god. Guys, you can't eat the edible. No. Don't eat me. <laughs> no eating chalk. Don't eat me. I don't like that. <laughs> no eating during panels. Yeah. I feel like I'm just having a really cool conversation. <laughs> no don't eat me don't eat the sidewalk chalk i um i yeah i don't i i kind of want to live you know so <laughs> don't om nom me <laughs> okay and these are like only a few options like it's not uh oh oh that was thunder sorry <laughs> Uh, we've had some storms roll through, actually. Um, last night, our power went out, and I was going to cry. Because <laughs> I wanted to present this panel and hang out with you guys. And I almost, like, we had a tornado warning and everything. Like, I I was, like, about to cry because if my power went out and this panel wasn't going to happen, I, I was going to lose it. <laughs> I was, I was going to become serial killer Kupas IRL again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I've just been pinged. <laughs> uh. You guys are such little rebels. I love it. Okay. So for like everyday items, we're going to talk about patches, which I'm sure all of you have shared and everything. Uh, I personally like sew-on patches. They're my favorite. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um patches are my favorite uh the sew-on ones are way better than uh, iron-on if you have iron-on patches it's no biggie but needles break all the time when you try to uh sew them on things plus they eventually they like peel they fall off like it's just kind of uh eating plastic is punk culture yeah you guys have fun with that <laughs> Um, but like adding patches to everyday items, uh, allows you to just have like a little, little snazz, you know? <laughs> Guys, stop. <laughs> girl dinner. <laughs> Microplastic girl dinner. Amazing. Um, also, you can, uh, uh, add for sew-on patches, uh, either punk websites for, like, punk bands and stuff, um, you can find them on, like, websites and all that stuff, uh, like, I, I don't really get, uh, patches, like, uh, I don't get a lot of band patches because mine's more about my, my wolfkin type, uh, but anything on Etsy. Etsy shops are awesome. Um, support small businesses. Hell yeah. Uh, they, um, they're not that expensive, to be honest. Shipping might be more expensive than patches sometimes. Etsy is like my favorite place. I spend way too much money on Etsy, guys. It's, it's actually a problem. <laughs> uh, but yeah, supporting small businesses and buying their patches, trust me, I bought from this one shop multiple times and every single time they keep uh they keep saying you're back and they they write me cute little notes. It's fun. It's so fun. Um Exactly. Um yeah, catering to niches, it's it's awesome cuz there's like my favorite Etsy store is my own. Peep the peep the dealers done. <laughs> Uh, 
yeah but like supporting small shops uh etsy can be expensive with shipping and stuff yeah depending on where you live yeah um however uh there's other websites you can find that are probably more local um i just mentioned etsy because that's like the biggest the biggest one i can think of Okay. What about shoes, you guys? Do you guys like shoes? <laughs> you guys are pinging me with the plastic memes. You guys like shoes? Dog shoes? Shoes for all the leggies? The feets? <laughs> so, for shoes, you can either draw on them. I've seen people uh, draw a little, like if you have boots, they've drawn paw prints on the bottom of them. Uh, if anyone ever makes paw boots, you know, you know your girl buying those so fast. <laughs> so fast. The one, oh, really? Oh, hell yeah. Paw shoes, my beloved. Uh, yeah, adding shoes to like, uh, not shoes, adding beads to, like, your shoelaces and stuff, charms. Um, you can put symbols, you can put markings, you can paint them. There's, like, canvas shoes um, where you can, like, uh, prime and prep them and then, like, actually, like, paint art on them. Like, if you are an artist, like, you can, like, uh, um, draw. Oh, no, not that I like your shoelaces. <laughs> oh, no. Um, but yeah, anything with like shoes and you can either do like, oh God, <laughs> oh God, um, you can either, <laughs> you can either do them, um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying because I, <laughs> because I, because I read, uh, because I read the Paul Shoes link and went, hell yeah, um, slip your shoelace, spaghetti, dear God. Dear God. <laughs> okay. How many, what, do you guys like wings? Like, how do you guys, are you guys have wings? You guys like wings? Flippy flap flap? You know? All right, so you can add wings to the back of your jackets, like do like sewing on from like like patches or anything, um, stuff like that. Or you can just like paint or draw them on. Um, I found a link that uh, um, it's a link to an instructable where you can like use safety pins to make wings on the back of like clothing, and I'm gonna send that. Um, yeah. It it's so cute, and I'm gonna send a I'm gonna send a link to that when I post my links. Here, let me show you a picture. Hang on, let me post a picture for you. Hang on, it's really cool. Let me let me just copy this real quick because I will send this link. Look at how fucking rad that looks. That's that's sick as fuck. And all it takes is safety pins. Like that's just safety pins. Like you don't need you don't need to buy like a patch or anything. It's safety pins you can get at the dollar store, you know. And I will be linking the tutorial to that uh, once the once I take Q and A, I'll link it at the end. Oh God, <laughs> Ken can have a little plastic. Oh no, not the plastic. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. You'd probably have to, like... Yeah, I don't know if I'd, like, put it on something you have to wash constantly, like a shirt. Like, if you put it on, like, a battle jacket or something with thinner denim, I feel like it'd be easier than, like, a... Like, say, like, a t-shirt. It also would probably wear through the t-shirt a little bit more. So, like, if you have a higher... Like, a, like a thicker material, it probably would work better. Okay. Okay, so you guys like painting, painting on fabric? Is that one of your favorite activities? Hmm. 
Nobody says you have to be good at it. Painting is for everyone. Crafting is for everyone. Make bad art. Did you see that patch on my jacket? Make bad art. Make bad art. It's important. Okay, fabric paint. If you guys don't know, yeah, fabric medium, I was just about to talk about that. Uh, fabric medium, they sell it in little bottles um, at the craft store, also in big ones, obviously. But what you can do is you can mix any acrylic craft paint, you know, the ones that are like 69 cents or something, haha, <laughs> 69. Um, you can get them at the craft store. And uh, you can just mix it together, like for a ratio on the bottle, and then you can heat set it and you have fabric paint. And it's way cheaper than buying actual fabric paint. It's like dollars cheaper. I put that on my TikTok. All the punks loved it. <laughs> I can also send a link to like some of the other stuff, but I already have compiled links too. Exactly. Oh, you want my TikTok? Sure. I'll give you my TikTok. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> the rest oh, you just it's just fabric medium. You get it at uh you get it at the craft store and there's like it's like a two to one ratio or something. Um it says it on the bottle. Oh no, don't drink the paint water. Oh no, 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 not paint water. Guys, you're killing me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no paint water. Bad, bad. <laughs> paint water and plastic jesus <laughs> okay and you want to make sure when you paint on fabric if it's not fabric paint and you mix the medium up um girl dinner if you uh, mix the medium up you have to heat set it also will be water soluble and it will like disappear like if you get wet it'll uh it'll rinse it right out so make sure you heat set it uh you can either use an iron or like a heat press if you're fancy um, or you could, uh, oh my god, or you could uh, uh, throw it in the dryer. So, like, anything like that, you can literally just toss it in the dryer if it doesn't have, like, pins or anything on it. Uh, heat it for, like, a little bit. I don't know. Your dryer is your dryer. I don't know how to work your dryer, but I know how to work my dryer, and I just do that. So, yeah. Hashtag kin dinner. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm corrupting. I'm corrupting the, the other con attendees. Uh, AliExpress, depending on what is sold, it can be more obtainable. As long as you're not buying, like, stolen art off of it. Um, and, you know, just being mindful of where the things come from and what you can, and what, you know, like, what work goes into it, like, the you know, all the stuff with the ethics and everything. Um, hang on. Uh, I'm getting into the question. Uh, but yeah, I mean, AliExpress is a good option for, like, I know there's some shops that sell, like, original products. I'd go with that more than, like, anything, um, like that is stolen art or anything that looks like like those sticker packs that sometimes they sell on there those are often filled with stolen arts just be mindful what you're buying um i can re-explain onto punk again uh let me scroll up in my notes here so onto punk is all about expressing yourself in a way true to your alter human nature tales other gear gear vocalizations and cringe behaviors uh, it's about rejecting human normality, accepting abnormal behavior, rejecting cringe culture as a whole. It's about letting yourself be loud and proud about who you are and being expressive and true to yourself. Um, it's so important in the community just to feel comfortable with who you are. Um, sometimes you feel this pressure to be a certain way, act a certain way. Um, you know, just like being a good member of the alter human community like i've struggled with this myself um uh, you know being able to express yourself in ways that make you feel good and i don't know just like it's so important to me to be who you are and not let people's opinions really yeah cringe is dead be free not letting other people's opinions control who you are um 
it's just it's just really important to me as someone who uh, didn't used to be open about dressing a certain way and has found confidence in becoming myself and who I want to be and present to other people and kind of ignoring the people that don't really care because they don't care. They just want to be mean and rude. And if they don't understand you, that's not your problem. So it's just really important to me for all of you to just express yourselves, be yourselves, not let the hangups of like what people want you to be make you like what people want you to be what they make you out to be just don't let those people control you because in the end we're all gonna die we're all gonna we're all gonna have regrets but don't let one of them be living for other people you know in the end we're all gonna return to the earth and by the end of that, I just want to be happy with what I did and who I am and not feel like I pleased other people so much to the point where I regret anything. So. So we're free. Kill the party that cringes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me go back to my notes here. I scrolled up. Um, going back to this uh, just last point for uh the ideas um chain studs and spikes uh they're really easy to install actually uh, i'm linking a website at the end of this again i have all these links like i have way too many links i probably i probably compiled way too many but uh they're all you need to do is like poke them through the fabric and attach them like if you want to use an all you can um Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm reading chat too. <laughs> uh, all you need to do is really like poke through, and then um, what you need to do, all you need to do is like attach it. Like there's this, there's like screw in ones, or there's like bend in ones for like the uh, studs. Yeah. Okay, and that's all the like the big talking points that I had. Um, but I will be. Um, oh God, you guys <laughs> eating Orbeez. Uh, but um, that's all the talking points that I had. But if you had any uh, panel questions, go ahead and put them in the panel questions channel, and I will answer them. Um. So if any of you guys got questions, go ahead, put them there. I'll see if I can answer them to the best of my ability. And then I'll post those links. Okay, question. I see a lot of beings say that you cannot be punk without being involved in the music part of the movement. Would you say this is important to Anto Punk too? Makes me worried. I have to call myself punk in communities because I don't listen to music. Seeing as, uh, seeing as, uh, I mean, Anto Punk is different than like actual punk subculture. I mean, in punk subculture, there is like different types of music. Um, that kind, it is involvement. It has involvement in the subculture. For Anto Punk, though, I. Uh, you could probably get away with listening to, like, other kin theme music. I mean, like, I don't know. It just, I don't think there's, like, a limit for that with Anto Punk. If you were, like, saying, yeah, I want to be punk rock, you probably should get involved in the music scene. Uh, but other than that, you know. Okay, question. What's your favorite thing to do when making a battle jacket? Ooh, I love planning planning and putting things together laying them out my least favorite part is sewing because i have dexterity issues and it sucks uh but planning things laying out everything if you see my vision come to life um that's one of my favorite things uh what are yarn tails yarn tails so what you do for yarn tails Let's see, sorry. Uh, for yarn tails, uh, what you would do is basically you make wefts of fur 
uh, what you do is you take fur, you tie like maybe six strands together in a knot, then you brush it out with like a pet brush, like a like a wire brush, uh, and then you flatten it with a straight, uh, like a iron, like a flat iron, like for your hair, and then you so basically you sew them all together on a yarn tail, or you can do it a different way. There's multiple ways of doing it, but like all the different stuff, you sew them on, and then you have a tail. Like you make a base and you kind of braid it and all that kind of stuff. I will post tutorials and everything. Um, can you make necklaces and stuff out of hummus beads? I don't know what those are. Hang on. Uh. Um. Oh yeah. Oh, you mean like uh, parlor beads? I know them as parlor beads. They might be different different uh, things but like melt melty beads those kind of things oh hell yeah you totally can uh candy patterns which i will also link uh has a ton of patterns for those um yeah um but any yeah totally for patterns and everything like that uh stuff like that you can find on candy patterns is there a big DIY project you haven't had the chance to work on yet, but you'd like to? Ooh, that is a loaded question. <laughs> um, um, I really want to learn how to make ballroom dresses. Uh, I've seen some people on TikTok do um, like these really fancy, cool, like full on, like. I've seen people recreate dresses from like movies or TV shows or books and they look sick and I'd love to learn how to do that. But it seems like I haven't, I need to finish some projects before I get into more, um, more projects because I put that limit on myself because I have ADHD and I, I need to finish things before I jump back in to anything new. Okay. I was wondering if you had disability friendly advice for DIY hand trimmers, motor function limitations, so that you can pair the ability to do fiber crafts in his example. Um, hmm. I honestly, uh, it'd be individual for each person. Um, there's certain things that might be harder, and there's certain things that might be easier. Um. Painting, I feel like, is a good one, especially if you have a big canvas and you don't want to do a lot of details, like if you did, like, a pop art thing or if you did, like, an abstract thing. Uh, I feel like it might be easier to hold, like, the bigger brushes. Um, otherwise, I'm sure I could either go on Google and take a peek for you if you were that curious. Um, I would also check on Google because I'm not completely sure what would work best for you specifically. Um, but if... I, there's so many opportunities to craft things. I would take a peek uh, and just explore your options. Uh, onto punk based ha hairstyles. Um, I uh, personally, I have an undercut mullet. <laughs> so uh, my um, my hair, I have a mullet with bangs and then I have an undercut for the rest of my hair. So I shave it down occasionally. Um, it's, it's really fun, like, dyeing your hair, uh, I know there's a book out there for braids, like, like, fantasy braiding, let me, I'm not sure what it's called, I have to see if I can find it, too, um, but, like, dyeing your hair, especially, doing an undercut, doing, like, a mohawk style, or even, like, a mullet, like, I have, stuff like that, is really, really cool uh claws um i have seen a lot of cosplayers who do like claws um they use paper to do them uh i don't have a tutorial linked for that immediately but it's like old uh, like origami uh folding stuff uh i'll have to see if i can if you dm me i can see if i can find it for you um but i know a lot of people either like 3d print things too or i know there's like little um there's like bigger origami things you can do Besides alter human acceptance and visibility, do you see any other goals for Antipunk as a movement? Um, honestly, like I've just said, like just being yourself. There you go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. The origami stuff. Uh, honestly, um, 
goals just be yourself that's that's what it's all about i mean like yeah acceptance and accessibility are great and that's what we should strive for but just just being yourself you know um just being able to be heard and seen and not caring what other people think for you or think about you and just you know all that kind of stuff what are some social movements we can add our voices to um hmm that's a good question um honestly um animal sanctuaries are a good one i know that's like a thing different from this but it's it still rings in with alter human stuff um like supporting sanctuaries supporting nonprofits supporting things that may be free for us and uh like informational things like libraries books independent authors small businesses allowing these uh people and other creatures and just everyone to be like you know mm. I just got pinged again. Sorry. <laughs> um, just allowing ourselves to be helpful and hold each other up and just be ourselves, you know? Okay, there's some of that. Let me see. Someone pinged me. Who did the pingeth? Oh, no. <laughs> Reading plastic. Oh, I've been added. I have been... I've been added. I've been called out for telling you guys not to eat plastic. <laughs> Questions? Yes, absolutely. Mutual aid. Um, stuff like that. Yeah. Any more questions? I'm just glad you guys have been able to bounce ideas off each other. It's really cool. Uh, I actually didn't create the term autopunk. It's an existing term. I have the I have like the actual link to like the coining of it. Um. It is not my term. I did not make it. Uh, but I think it's cool as fuck, and I decided to run with it for this panel. How do you get... Oh, whoa. <laughs> How do you get over the nervous system may happen when dressing more punkish less yourself? Um, honestly, I don't know. I just... I feel so much more comfortable being myself. Um, I used to be made fun of a lot in high school for, like, being weird and being, like, alter human and all that stuff. Um, but, um, I don't know. When I put on my battle jacket and I walk into class, whatever, um, like, I'm in college, so it's, it's obviously not, I'm not in high school anymore. Um, but just walking into class and finding people who find me cool. Like, just when people compliment my battle jacket and just, you know, it's just the way I dress. And a lot of people have told me that they think it's really cool that I dress for myself and I don't dress for other people. And that it's just it's really fun. Um, I am I am a shy person. Don't get me wrong. Uh, we all are in this system. We're very shy, except for maybe one of us. But she's supposed to not be shy. So. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I wanted, I guess when I turned 20, I didn't want to have to care about what other people thought of me anymore. I, it's, I'm too, I just, I, I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time to think about what other people think and like people, other, other creatures have said in here. Um, I would definitely, uh, start small you don't have to go all out and like do this heavy makeup and like uh wear your jacket and have all the spikes and everything you can start small you don't have to you don't have to like go all in all the first the first time because it will it will be nerve-wracking it'll be scary it'll be weird you never you haven't done it yet so you know 
but honestly it's made me feel so much more confident just to be myself be who I think is cool and I kind of just gotten tired of if other people don't like me okay I don't care they don't have to like me I can't control what other people are are thinking or feeling about me so I don't think I'm a bad person I don't hurt people and I just do whatever I want so okay let's see what are some plural focused ideas for onto punk how can plurality be expressed in an onto punk lens um I love the idea of fronting indicators um those are my favorite like I said bracelets they don't have to be bracelets they can be like rings or hair clips or like colored things color coded things it doesn't have to be like this huge oh I have to put this bracelet on and it says my name on it so you're gonna all know it can be like for yourself you know all that kind of stuff where you don't have to like you don't have to like scream to everyone hi I'm a system or I'm plural they'll be like okay you can just do these little things for yourself I mean you don't have to like you don't have to like be loud about anything you're uncomfortable with by the way like if it makes you uncomfortable do certain things uh you don't feel pressured by this panel to like be like hey don't like you know don't don't take my advice and run with it and then get in trouble with somebody but uh, yeah i like the idea of running indicators i know one system on youtube who literally takes hair clips and clip them to their shirt and uh that was their running indicator so i like that What do you suggest to those who live in not very accepting homes to do to be openly be themselves? Um, Honestly, I started being myself once I turned an adult about 19 or 20. Uh, I'm only 21, so I'm not I'm not saying I've done it for forever. But. um, I don't know, it's kind of hard when you're in that situation, uh, especially if you're going to get in trouble for doing it. Obviously, safety is your priority. And if you think you'll get, like, in trouble or yelled at or, like, anything escalated from that, I would try and do subtle things like jewelry. If you have your ears pierced, you can get earrings that remind you of your kin type or your paratype or your coping link or your altars or your headmates. You know, all these different things. Subtlety is your friend when you want to uh, have fun and have that situation going on. Um okay any other questions for me I see Thorns is typing, so I will wait for them. What do you hope happens after this panel for the communities with more awareness of Antifunk? Honestly, even if my panel doesn't reach that far and if like people listen to it and they're like, yeah, I hope that it inspired people just to like give them ideas to do new things and have fun with them. Um, I just hope that other beings and creatures can express themselves in ways that make them feel good and be more open about cool gear and having fun and just being yourself and killing the part of you that cringes and uh, being more aware of what we as a community can do to, um, I don't know, uplift and support each other and not feel like you have to be a certain way and just be up for, yeah, to stand up to cringe culture and just be weird, be be freaky, be whatever you want to call yourself, you know? It's just like, just, you know, I hope it inspires you to have fun and just be yourself. That's kind of like the core of this whole panel, just giving you ideas to like do whatever the heck you want.
Yeah, the recording cut is fine. So if you guys... Uh, I'm going to post my links. No plastic only. Okay, I am going to post my links real quick. There is a lot of them. Um, but I hope that someone will pin them. I think one of the mods probably will. I hope you guys were at least inspired and are open to more sharing between each other and like uh yeah, you guys go ahead and link stuff that you guys think is cool too. Um but I hope you oh, you all learned that you can be yourself and bouncing ideas off each other is one of the greatest things. Um doing things for yourself is great and just being inspired and Doing what makes you feel good. In an accessible way, obviously. Oh, you guys are so nice. Okay, I'm going to post those links now. There's a lot of them. Fair warning, but... But this has, like, if you want to start doing something, uh, this has a lot of resources for uh, uh, a lot of different crafts. Like, it has the instructable link for the wings. It has crochet. It has embroidery. It has, uh, it has like, all the other stuff. And then it has, like, the yarn tail and stuff. Oh, the panel questions. Uh, yeah, hang on. Uh, panel questions. Okay, sorry about the link spam again, but. <laughs> oh, off to go eat plastic. You guys are hilarious. 